Hey there, this is Stacy. I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm here today to do a tag video. I was tagged by, um, I think it's Lulu, uh, let me see here, Lulu, Lady Lulu on Beauty and Uppies Beads to do this tag, and it's called the Hot Lips Hula Hand Tag, and it's kind of funny because a lot of people probably don't even know what that is, um, but that's from the show called MASH from way back in probably the 70s, and, um, I didn't really watch that show, to be quite honest. I remember sitting in the room when my dad had it on. He was a big fan of that show. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I haven't really taken the time to look through the questions, but I have them here on my iPad so that I will know what they are. So the first one is, in 100 words or less, describe your winter and summer skin types. And my skin has changed so much in the past few years. I would say winter, I do get some dry patches, but I don't really have dry skin. I still get breakouts, um, lovely and fun, uh, definitely not. So sometimes I kind of have oily skin. So obviously I kind of have combination skin. It's also pretty sensitive um, year round. The next question is what eye cream did you use last night? And I confess I didn't use any eye cream last night. I actually did use some this morning. It's a new Sicily Paris one that um, was kind of like a little sample that came in some stuff that my husband had brought me back from vacation or not vacation, but his business trip um, How is the hunt going for a neck cream? I will be totally honest and tell you that I haven't uh, really used any neck cream lately um, Sadly, so kind of right here. I just really feel like I'm getting that. I Don't know. I guess kind of like a, almost like a crepiness in the neck just right here and yes, I should be pursuing neck cream a lot further than I am, and I promise I will. What skincare products are helping you to win the war on aging? Uh, not necessarily a certain product. I love using the BB creams and the CC creams, which are the beauty balms for my foundation and the correcting creams for my foundation. I use... Um, as far as like Retin-A and that kind of stuff, I don't use that. I tried it, um, some that I had gotten, and it made my face peel so terribly that I just didn't want to deal with it at this point in time anyway. I do use a cream that's my Phenacea, which is for rosacea, and it's an azelaic acid, 15%, and I think that helps a lot with the anti-aging. I've done IPLs and peels and things like that in the past, but I haven't done any of those in um, several years. Do you, use, do you still use black eyeliner? Yes, I do, probably almost every day, um, just because I like the way it, um, on the lash line, the way it kind of helps to make your lashes look more full. So yes, I do. Um, with that being said, I do have a lot of like the dark brown chocolate liners too, but I think I still prefer black right now. Whoops, we went off here. Next question. Um, is face powder your friend or your enemy? And I would say that both. Face powder is both my friend and my enemy, just depending on if and when I need it. The Laura Mercier Loose Mineral Powder Foundation I think is great. Um, I think it buffs in well enough that it doesn't look like um, you know, a product that's really sitting in your wrinkles and creases and all that kind of stuff. Um, I like to use it to set uh, some of my BB creams and CC creams as well. I would never just straight out put um, a powder just on my face. Do you care if blush has sparkle? Um, I like a little sheen. I don't particularly care for sparkle. Number eight. Any makeup tricks to help you look more youthful? Um, not necessarily. I mean, I just think wearing makeup makes me look more youthful. I feel kind of naked without it. Uh, I feel like I just kind of look older without it. I think just makeup helps to kind of brighten the face and uh, like kind of open your eyes and all that kind of stuff to make you look more youthful. Give your beauty sisters of a certain age three quick makeup tips. My makeup tips are to wear uh, mascara because I think that um, makes you look younger. Um, I'd say some foundation um, with kind of like the lifting and moisturizing properties in it and maybe just some bronzer. Uh, I use the br 
bronzer blusher in one but just some bronzer to maybe contour and um, that would be three I guess are you using any weapons of mass destruction on your age spots I am not but I feel like I probably need to um, I didn't really feel like a lot of products do very much for me I use again the azelaic acid which is my finacea that I use for my rosacea which I get from the dermatologist it's a prescription medicine but that has different properties in it I think that kind of maybe helps to minimize the brown spots somewhat and then covering them up of course helps as well does the phrase thinning hair have a special meaning to you obviously thinning hair has no meaning in my life if you look at my hair here you can see that I have enough hair for at least four or five people which looks younger your hands or your neck probably my hands I think just because I have that one spot right here that kind of gets that crepiness so that would make my neck look really old uh, what bothers you the most 11's crow's feet or lip lines lip lines bother me like no other I'm really starting to get them here above my lip and I don't care for them in any way shape or form I would say 11's would bother me if I hadn't had them treated with some Botox um, I don't get them real bad yet so I just had Botox um, maybe two months ago and I didn't have very much I think I kind of have all my movement and everything back here in my face um, so I don't really get those 11's very bad but um, lip lines bother me like no other like I said I am seeking to find the fountain of lip line youth if anybody knows it please let me know have you had to pluck a chin hair yet um, yeah like just a random little something sort of has popped up here and there I do have one of those 10x really bright mirrors so nothing goes unseen what do you do about your mustache I don't really think I have much of a mustache um, I have used like tweezers if I see kind of like a darker hair sort of popping up around here how many pairs of reading glasses do you own I own two pairs that I bought just because I thought they were so cute I don't really need reading glasses yet I have one contact lens it's called monovision and so one contact lens is for distance the other is for up close and technically when I get in bed to read at night I don't need any contact lenses or glasses or anything um, I guess it's one of those strange phenomenons that because I'm correcting for all of the vision distance problems or the distance vision problems it offsets the near vision and so that's why I need to do that during the day but at night when I have no contact lenses in or anything I'm perfectly fine without the reading glasses but like I said I have bought a pair because I just think they're so cute they're in the bottom of my purse of course and they're probably broken by now you win your choice of a neck lift an eye lift a boob lift or a tummy tuck which do you choose that's a really hard decision I don't think my neck is bad enough to get a neck lift yet my eyes aren't bad enough to get an eye lift yet my boobs maybe I could use a little lift um, it would probably make them look a little bit better if they were up a little higher um, a tummy tuck yeah I could probably use I think kind of more of a mini tummy tuck um, you know three kids and gaining all that weight of course we could all probably use a tummy tuck are you more concerned about wrinkling or sagging I'm probably more concerned about wrinkling I just don't like the way wrinkling looks at this point in time do you go sleeveless to Walmart in the summer um, typically I do however I kind of had my um, like nightgown on last night you know with the thin straps and sort of noticed here in the arms that maybe I shouldn't be wearing my tank tops to Walmart anymore and then the last question is um, best memory of your mother's beauty routine I don't specifically remember a particular something that she did but my mom took really good care of her um, skin her facial skin um, she just never really got any kind of serious wrinkles and all and she looked great to the end so um, she was just a big advocate for taking care of her skin she always talked about that so anyway those are all my answers thanks for tagging me ladies for this hot lips hula hand tag um, I tag anybody that hasn't done it yet or cares to do it at all um, it's kind of fun to hear the different answers that people have and 
I am going to go back and look at everyone else's videos and see what their answers were. So I hope everyone's having a great day. If you have any questions, let me know. And welcome again to my new subscribers.